Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terror Tech Entertainment, here to show you how to jailbreak an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on 5.0.1 untethered. This will work for the iPhone 4, the iPhone, and the iPhone 3GS, also the iPod Touch 4th generation and lower, and also the 1st generation of the iPad. The iPhone 4S and iPad 2 are not supported at this time. So what you're going to want to do is download Red Snow. This will work for Windows and Mac. I'll have both different download links in the description. So what you're going to want to do, make sure you're plugged in right here. Just make sure you're plugged into your computer, have everything closed, or everything that uses your iPod closed, such as iTunes or stuff like that. Just make sure that's all down. And then you're going to want to open up Red Snow. And then you might get one of these. If you haven't opened it before, just click open. And right here, this is what you have. So what you're going to want to do is click on Jailbreak right there. And then you're going to want to put your phone into DFU mode. So what you're going to want to do is it says please make sure your device is both off and plugged in just make sure it's plugged in and click next and it's gonna show you how to put it into DFU mode so let me go ahead open that up and then I'll get ready to do this right as it starts up so hold down the power button for three seconds and now the home and power button for ten seconds and then release the power button and hold the home button alright and now on the screen it says identifying and it's going through this process Alright, now it says preparing jailbreak data. So this will be kind of time consuming depending on how fast your computer is and which device you have. The higher or the newer device you have, the faster that's going to be jailbroken and vice versa. So I have the 3GS so it might take a little longer compared to if you have the iPod Touch 4th generation or the iPhone 4 or iPad for that matter. Alright, so now that that's done, it says processing kernel, which that's going a little faster. And right now the screen is not showing anything, it's just black for the moment. But the backlight's on, so. Alright, now it's starting to speed up here. So patching, and there we go. So, now you have these options right here. So all you're going to want to do is have, have install Cydia checked. You can check the others, but this is your best bet right here. So, what you're going to want to do, just click on Next, and it will do everything for you. So as you can see right here, it says downloading jailbreak data right down there at the bottom alright now it's jailbreaking And by the way, if I have not mentioned this before, this is an untethered jailbreak. Which untethered means that pretty much tethered and untethered only affect the booting of it. So an untethered jailbreak lets you reboot your device without having to plug it into the computer and booting it tethered through Red Snow.
So now it says done on the computer, which it said for a while before this whole thing started up, but just leave red snow open and let this do its thing until your iPod's booted up and you're able to use it again. All right, so now it's got this picture and it stops here at moving applications. This process will take a while. I'll leave this running just so you can see how long it takes on my device. So it's been about a minute, hasn't moved yet, that's normal. This one will take a while, but once this is done, it will just speed through the rest. Let me just adjust this. So we're at the two minute mark here. Yeah, two minutes. Has it moved? Uh, Now, so it took about three minutes, and now it says installing bundles, and as you can see, the bar is moving much quicker. So once this is done, it should reboot into the normal iOS, and you will have Cydia there. All right, so now it is shut off. There it goes, rebooting. And for this process, if your iPod is set up to open iTunes once it's plugged in, every time it reboots, it will open iTunes, so you're going to want to disable that just for the time jailbreak. And jailbreaking will not mess up syncing with iTunes.
Alright, so now it's just about booted up. Just be a few more seconds now. And once this is done, I will show you that it is on iOS 5.0.1 because I forgot to do that beforehand. And I will show you that it is also an untethered jailbreak. Alright, so here it is, booted back up. Let's just let the loading, the lock screen load real quick. Alright. So now, slide to unlock. And here, yeah, let's go and do settings. So that I can show you what version I'm running on. And then general. About. As you can see down here at the bottom, I'll bring it closer. It says 5.0.1 right there. And then also on your very last page, you have Cydia. So let's go ahead and boot this up. I'm gonna use Hacker. And done. Here it goes, and Cydia is up and running. See up here, downloading packages, home screen's loading. There's that, and let me just scroll to the bottom. And right there, you can also see that it says iPhone 3GS, iOS 5.0.1. So just to let you know that it is on iOS 5.0.1. So now what I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it and then I'm going to reboot the device and I will keep this running throughout the whole time just to show you that it is untethered. So slide the power off. And so the whole process for jailbreaking on a 3GS, on my 3GS, it was about 14 minutes. Alright, so now it is off. And there it goes. I'll just set this down right here. And that's just my camera making it look weird. It actually looks perfectly fine. In case you were wondering. because the lighting on my phone is a little dim so the camera's picking it up weird alright so it is unplugged not plugged into the computer And there we go. It has booted back up. Just slide to unlock. And there we are. And Cydia still works. So it's not semi untethered or tethered, it is an untethered jailbreak. So, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos check out our other stuff if you have any questions uh leave a comment down below and thanks for watching and you're done with the computer and everything else now so you can just exit out of everything and you're good to go well thanks for watching this video hope you found it helpful and i will see you next time